praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ, and a warm welcome to the CCR Daily Scripture Reflection. Today, 20th November 2022, we celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King, King of the Universe and King of our lives. Today's reflection is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23 verses 35 to 43. At that time, the rulers scoffed at Jesus, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Gospel of Luke clearly tells us that Christ the King is not reigning from a throne, but from the cross like a suffering servant. He is despised and rejected as the bystanders and soldiers ridicule the crucified king, challenging him to prove his kingship by coming down from the cross. Great though was Jesus' suffering, his agony of spirit was much greater. He was bearing the burden of human sin and thereby was conquering Satan and releasing people from the power of sin and death. He was determined to face death at its worst. He bore all our sins to give us eternal life, fully conscious of what he was going through. It was the cry, taunt, and mockery of the non-believers. Save yourself, the high priest said. He saved others. Himself he cannot save. Let him come down now if he is the son of God. Let God save him because he said he is the son of God. The soldiers mocked, If you are the king of Jews, save yourself. Let him come down now from the cross and we will believe him. The priest said, The same when Jesus was mocked while he was on the cross is also a manifestation of the mercy of God through Jesus himself was mocked, humiliated and in excruciating pain. But my brothers and sisters, imagine if Jesus had saved himself, he would not be able to save you and me and we would all perish. Yes, Jesus didn't retaliate or get angry. Instead, 
he looked up to heaven and spoke to his father asking to forgive them as they do not know what they do very often at some point of time we might have experienced rejection been ridiculed and mocked quite often either in our workplace neighborhood associations or even in our own families often with harsh and hurting words are used as weapons of intimidation spiteful teasing from friends and family members cuts away our confidence whatever the source may be it brings a lot of hurt and pain as a human being it's difficult to overcome rejection and pain in spite of being righteous sincere and honest hence we need to find healing from this verbal word wounds by responding with humility and grace and find comfort in God's merciful love and perseverance in fact we need to understand mockery is often a symptom of the mocker's rejection of human and God's love for his or her own life and their feelings of inferiority therefore by communicating God's love and acceptance we can pray for the person who ridicules you you can bless him or her too thus overcoming the hurt and anger you may feel by accepting god's grace pray for your offender god's word teaches us to bless those who mock us kindly read 1 peter 3 Chapter 3 verse 8 to 9 To conclude the kingship of Jesus Christ was made manifest most perfectly in his suffering and death upon the cross followed by res- resurrection on the third day as he had foretold Let us emulate Christ the king by being sincere honest righteous reaching out and doing humble deeds like serving rather than being served let us now gently close our eyes for prayer lord You are the sovereign king of the universe. You are the lord of all. Come, reign in my life and make my soul your holy dwelling place. Lord, come transform our world and make it a place of true peace and justice. May your kingdom come. Jesus I trust in you and make this prayer in your holy and precious name amen Praise the Lord my brothers and sisters